we're going to speak about um, auto indexing. Auto indexing is specific to for loops. So I'm going to drop a for loop. As we've talked in the past, a for loop has an iteration counter and it also has an incrementer. That's the loop count. It tells us how many times the loop is going to run. In this case, what I'm going to do is I have a predefined um, array here with six elements in it. And I'm going to take this array and I'm going to wire it to the input of term to an input terminal pass through on the side of the loop. Notice that I have not wired anything to the end value. Okay. Also notice that the program runs just fine. Does not give me anything broken because what this terminal right here does is it says for every iteration of this loop, give me one portion of this array. Okay. So just to see what it's actually giving us, we're going to drop down a numeric indicator on the front panel. So there's our numeric indicator. And what we're going to do is wire it to this. And just to make things interesting here, what I'm going to do is to slow this down and tell it that I only want to run every one second. Okay. So if we go back here now and we watch our iterate watch our counter here as this runs, we should we're going to see it just basically go through our six elements before the program terminates. So what's happening is for every iteration of this loop, it's splitting one element out of this array and passing it into the loop to be executed on. And in this case, we're just taking and, and turning it into a numeric. If this were a two-dimensional array, then what we would see is, we're going to make this a two-dimensional array. Okay. And we will give him some values also of oh, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Okay, we're going to go back to here. Notice that I now have a broken wire here, and that's because the incoming element is going to be an array. Get rid of broken wires, get rid of this. We're going to go here and tell it to create an indicator. So we now have an array indicator up here. And we are going to run execute this program. And you can see that what it ran was two cycles, because there are there are two rows in this, and it gave us all the columns in one row. Okay, so it gave us all of the all of the row all of the columns in row one first, then it gave us all of the columns in row two. Again, breaking down the 2D array into a series of 1D arrays, passing each 1D array in. And then you can do whatever you want with those arrays inter internally. It will automatically determine how many times it needs to run automatically on its own, so you don't have to sit here and figure out how big the array is and wire some value into the end. And that's all there is to auto-incrementing.